And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Ben Rollin' playing the Old Republic. Today we are heading back to the planet that really... Why must we always end up going back here? Narshada. Alright, so we gotta... Well... Using the intercom. Home again. I hope this visit's better than the last. Anyway, Bloodworthy sent directions and the passcode for the elevator. Should take us straight up to the top floor. You ready to hit the promenade in style? Come on, Mako. Time to party. Torian, you and the others finish locking down the ship. We'll meet you at the party. See you there. And here's Blizz just kind of hanging out. <laughs> Guess you really lucked out by signing up with me. Now that they've left the White Maw, they shouldn't have anything to worry about. Uh, radio. Anyway. Alright, time to get off the ship. We need to head down to the promenade and get to the party. And I'm sure absolutely nothing of interest is going to happen while we're here. Absolutely nothing at all. No possible way that this is a trap, or that uh, the Republic is here, or... <laughs> Who knows? No way that any of that's ever going to happen. I'm sure chapter two is just going to end and, you know, we're going to be dancing, we'll pass out, we'll wake up, and we'll have even more money than the 215-ish thousand credits we have now. Speaking of which, I could have more if I tell Mako to handle my All junk. Right. Oh, if you want to know what Blizz is good at, armor and arms. Well, armor efficiency and then an arms tech crit. Even though he's a salvager. Or salvager. There's no N in there. Alright, so I gotta go this way. Going to the Star Cluster Casino. There we go, we made another eight grand. Okay. Well done. Please select an available travel route. Have a safe and pleasant stay. Nothing like a casino. If only we could actually gamble here. Then it would be even more like KOTOR. I mean, I understand why it's not in the game. Because, you know, it would be unfair to other players if people just beat the crap out of gambling for some reason. You know, and other people just didn't have the luck. You alright? But, you know, 
What are you gonna do? Can't have everything Kotor was known for. Like pod racing. Although, I don't think I know too many people who miss that. But I'm sure somebody out there does. You know, I've never actually been inside one of these casinos. I was just a kid when Brayden pulled me out of here. And I haven't been back since. Um, it's up. So I gotta go up. Back over here. Yep, nothing shady going on here. Nothing shady ever goes on in Narshada. It's just a fun, happy community. Where everybody is so straight-laced and honorable. Oh. <laughs> Green door. What the? What happened? She did. I'm sorry. They refused to cooperate. No sign of the fugitive. No matter. Advance the timeline. Adeline, call in support. Bendis was certain you could be reasoned with. I was mistaken to indulge her. This is your last opportunity to surrender peacefully. Don't be as foolish as your friends here. Bounty hunters set their own rules. Swift justice then. Adeline. Uh, you. Take that. Oh, it's going to be like that, is it? What is the bug up their butt? What does the Jedi really need with me? I mean, okay, I realize what I did in the past, but seriously, this is a little far. How high do I have to stack the corpses before you get the message? You will not continue to murder Jedi with impunity. There will be no more even-handed offers, only swift, definitive retribution. I'm an enemy you're gonna regret making. We've only just begun. Did, did we just get them killed? That Jedi dragged them into this, not us. It's not just them, it's everybody. Brayden, Jory, Anuli, Soom. Is everyone who gets near us gonna end up dead? I won't let this happen again. We can't be everywhere at once. 
Torian, round everyone up. We're leaving. On it. Trouble? Just Jedi trying to put me away again. I'll keep an eye out. So really, is that going to be it for... Chap the end of chapter 2 <laughs> just ends there? No, well, whatever. Let's bust out the quick travel. Jedi certainly have a bug up their butt about me. Not absolutely sure why, but... I mean, yes, Looks I do like remember... Looks like they added more lights to hide the grime. Attacking. Don't be fooled by the glamour. When you come to Nar Shadda, you're here to lose something. Money, morals, a past. Anything can fall through the cracks. You know, I'm trying to wax philosophical here, and you're really hindering that. Anyway, I do remember that uh, we attacked the ship, we let the Padawan go, and we ran into the Padawan the last time they ambushed us, and that guy was on the call. But uh, that guy is a little too much of a penny waste to uh, actually come after us himself, so... Not exactly sure what uh, he's trying to accomplish. I mean, okay, you know, we killed a Jedi, but we're bounty hunters. Uh, bounty hunters are bounty hunters. You don't like it? You know, too bad. You're Jedi, you're not supposed to seek revenge. But apparently they do, because they're super special or something. I don't know. But if this is the way it's going to be, you know, this is how what's going to shape Chapter 3 is us going up against the Jedi Order, or at least this one Jedi Master, then so be it. Although I didn't see uh, blood Do you require worthy anything, there. Master? A hot meal, perhaps? Conversation? A foot massage? Just say the word. I just saw uh, the chick and the droid. Oh, intercom, not terminal. Damn it. You need to see this. The attack claimed the lives of a delegation of Jedi and Republic officials on Nar Shadda. The apprehension of the individual responsible for these continued acts of aggression is our top priority. Senators, I assure you, the orchestrators of these attacks will be made to account for them. Oh, we are so... That was the Supreme Chancellor of the Republic. Think he's the one behind this mess? I hope not. He holds a lot of power. Uh, let's see what's buzzing around the hole in it. Oh, we are in real trouble. The Republic just placed you at the top of its most wanted list. The list of charges is a kilometer long. Destroying the cruiser Aurora, resulting in the loss of her entire crew, including the Jedi Master Kelly and Jaro, assassinating the Senator of Ithor, sabotage resulting in the destruction of the ecosystem of... It just keeps going. Half of this stuff we didn't even do. Dragging my reputation through the mud. That's low. I haven't gotten to the part where they're pitting our own kind against us. They're offering a 10 million credit bounty for your capture. Figures. The best bounty in the galaxy is the one I can't claim. Congratulations. That's more than every price on my head combined. Better get off Nar Shadda. Kid's right. Every two-credit hood on this moon is gonna be gunning for us. Before you plot a destination, it gets worse. Accusations are flying all over the holonet, and Imperial officials are making a big show of burning any bridges between us. I don't know what the Empire's idea of full cooperation is, but laying low in Imperial space is looking a lot less likely. We're looking real short on friends right now. Where do we go? Come on, kill Papa Boo! Here's how we play this. Get in tight with the huts. You've got pull with them, and ten mil wouldn't even make them blink. Become hut lackeys? Pass. 
Kid, I've been ducking poetic justice since before you were born. Butt out. Guys, guys, guys! We just got a high priority communication. What's the message, Mako? It's an Imperial summons. We're to rendezvous with an Imperial fleet in the Outer Rim to discuss our recent activities. Discussion? Yeah, I bet. It doesn't sound like a request. Okay, so that's gonna be it for chapter two. Uh, I guess I'll take that. Uh, it looks like the Imperials want to have a chat with us. <laughs> After uh, that extreme grandstanding. And the bounty that has been placed on our head. And we'll have to get to that in the next episode. I thank you for watching. Please subscribe, comment, all that fun stuff. And as always, I will see you next time.